Hey everybody, welcome to Fun Facts. If you are seeking information, you are at the right place. Today, we're going to go over the most amazing top 10 facts about genetic disorders. Make sure to watch until number 1, because it's one of the most amazing facts you will ever see. Number 10, genetic disorders are diseases that are caused by changes or mutations in the DNA sequence of a person or an animal. Generic disorders are illnesses that are caused by changes in the DNA of a person. It is possible that these mutations are caused by an error in DNA replication or by environmental factors, such as cigarette smoke and radiation exposure, that cause changes in the DNA sequence. The human genome is a complex set of instructions, similar to a recipe book, that directs our growth and development throughout our lives. The human genome, on the other hand, can change over time, unlike a printed book, Number 9, genetic diseases are generally classified into one of three main categories. One type of genetic disorder is a single gene disorder, which is characterized by a defect in a single gene and is often inherited in a straightforward and predictable manner. When an individual has one altered copy of the relevant gene and one healthy copy of the gene, they are said to have dominant diseases. Consider the case of Huntington's disease. Recessive diseases are single gene disorders that can only occur when two different versions of the relevant gene are present in the same individual. For instance, what about cystic fibrosis? X-linked disorders are single gene disorders caused by the presence of a mutated gene on the X chromosome, which are inherited. Because males have only one X chromosome, X-linked disorders are more common in males than in females. As a result, only one copy of the mutated gene is required for symptoms to manifest themselves in males. For instance, what about muscular dystrophy? Chromosome disorders are diseases that occur as a result of changes in the number or structure of chromosomes. For example, Down syndrome, which is caused by an extra chromosome 21, is a genetic disorder, trisomy 21, three copies of chromosome 21. Multifactorial disorders, complex diseases. Disorders caused by mutations in multiple genes, which are frequently found in complex interactions with environmental and lifestyle factors such as diet and cigarette smoke, among others. Number 8. Genetic disorders cannot be cured, rather, they can only be avoided. Every person on the planet is a carrier of a genetic mutation. Congenital marriages are associated with a high risk of passing on a genetic disorder to their child in 17% of cases. Being a carrier of a mutation does not imply that one is suffering from the disease. In contrast, if both parents are carriers of a mutation in the same gene, the likelihood of having a child with the disorder increases by up to 25%. Genetic disorders are more likely to run in families. The genes that parents pass on to their children may contain the genetic basis of a genetic disorder, and some of these genes may be passed on by accident. Each parent, on the other hand, only passes down half of their genes to their children. An allele is the version of a gene that is passed down from one parent to their child. If two alleles from each parent are different, the body will only be able to take instructions from one of the alleles that is different. The dominant allele is the allele from which the cell receives instructions and is distinguished from the other alleles. The other type of allele is referred to as the recessive allele. Some genetic conditions are caused by the presence of a dominant allele, whereas others are caused by the presence of a recessive allele. In most cases, a person will only inherit a particular genetic disorder if they have at least one dominant allele for the disorder or at least two recessive alleles for the disorder in their genetic makeup. Number 7, genetic disorders are responsible for 20% of infant mortality in developed countries, according to the WHO. With each passing year, a greater and greater number of infants are born with one or more types of genetic disorders. According to the statistics, one in every 25 infants is a carrier of cystic fibrosis, whereas one in every 50 infants is diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy. Number 6, despite the fact that we lead relatively healthy lives, we are all carriers of certain genetic mutations. However, according to the World Health Organization, one in every 1,000 newborn infants is affected by a genetic disorder. Because the number is excessive, and the likelihood of having a child with the disorder increases if both parents have a genetic mutation in the same gene. When a child with a genetic mutation is born, the vast majority of parents become aware that they are carriers of the mutation. Using the Carrier Genetic Test CGT, by iGenomics, you can find out whether or not your parents are a carrier of specific mutations.
because family planning is inherited. Taking this test also provides guidance to immediate family members on how to proceed with their own family planning decisions. In order to reduce the number of infants born with genetic disorders, we must first understand what they are. Even if you and your partner are both carriers of a genetic disorder, you should consider getting married. With pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, it is still possible to have a healthy baby. Number 5. In order to reduce the risk of genetic disorders in a child to be born. iGenomics, a pioneer in reproductive genetics, developed the Carrier Genetic Test, also known as the Carrier Genetic Screening CGT. CGT is a vital family planning tool that helps to determine the likelihood of having a child who is affected by a genetic disease. A positive result in the test indicates that the individual has one or more mutations, which are indicated by the color of the test result. If you have a pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, there are options for you to have a healthy pregnancy and have children PGD. Number 4, birth defect in which a human being has more limbs than is normally expected, or disease in which the patient's feet are facing backwards. In India, such individuals are either regarded as miniature manifestations of God himself, or as simply evil. Have you ever heard of a ghost with his or her feet turned backwards? These are simply some extremely serious genetic disorders. To put it mildly, some people with these disorders lead normal lives, while others die within a half hour of being born. Human beings shape their lives from the moment they are born until the moment they take their last breath. And during that time they are diagnosed with a variety of illnesses. Nevertheless, there are some disorders that manifest themselves before the child is even born. Number 3, Amelogenesis Imperfecta was the first known genetic condition in a hominid, and it was found in over a third of individuals of the fossil species Paranthropus robustus. It is estimated that one in every 50 people is affected by a single gene disorder, while one in every 263 people is affected by a chromosomal disorder. Around 65% of the population suffers from a health problem as a result of congenital genetic mutations, which are present at birth. Because of the disproportionately large number of genetic disorders, approximately one in every 21 people is affected by a genetic disorder that is considered rare, usually defined as affecting less than one in two. Zero, zero, zero people. The majority of genetic disorders are extremely rare in and of themselves. In the medical literature, there are over 6,000 genetic disorders that have been identified, with new genetic disorders being described on a regular basis. Number 2, genetic disorders are a never-ending battle, with more than 1,800 gene therapy clinical trials having been completed, are currently underway, or have been approved in various countries around the world. Despite this, the majority of treatment options are focused on alleviating the symptoms of the disorders in an effort to improve the overall quality of life for the patient. Gene therapy is a type of treatment in which a healthy gene is introduced into a patient to treat a disease. A defect caused by a faulty gene should be alleviated, and the disease should progress at a slower rate as a result. The delivery of genes to the appropriate cells, tissues, and organs affected by the disorder has proven to be a significant challenge. In order to introduce a gene into the potentially trillions of cells that carry the defective copy, researchers have looked into how they can accomplish this. Finding an answer to this question has proven to be a stumbling block in the journey from understanding genetic disorders to correcting genetic disorders. Number 1, the National Institutes of Health (NIH) provides funding for the majority of biomedical research conducted in the United States NIH. The amount of money that the National Institutes of Health NIH, receives in order to carry out their mission is determined by the United States Congress. A total of 3% of the population in the United States has an intellectual disability. Even though intellectual disability research accounted for 3% of the National Institutes of Health's 1996 budget of $357 million, the National Institute of Child Health and Human Development spent only $86.3 million on it. Despite the fact that children accounted for 32% of the population in 1996, only 14% of direct NIH funding went toward the study of childhood disorders. Pediatric hospital admissions for genetic conditions account for one-third of all pediatric hospital admissions. Subscribe and turn on notifications to get informed so you don't miss more videos of the most amazing top 10 facts and much more. Check out this playlist for other amazing top 10 facts. And remember guys knowledge is power. With AP. Peace.